we will now continue creating the index.php file which displays all the posts. So we're, we are going to create a paragraph and it says posted on and here comes a crypting uh, crypt poo a cryptic looking piece of code sorry about that we say echo date and we need to give it a format and there will be day month year hours, minutes, seconds. This is exactly the same format that the now function in MySQL returns. And for the second parameter we use string to time post date posted. Remember this is a MySQL tutorial. I'm not going to bother explaining how this works exactly. If you want to know, just go to php.net slash string to time or something like that and read what it says and you'll understand. And now on the next line I'm going to say in and we'll put a link here to the category which we stored in post name and it links to category.php with an ID of post category ID. Oops. Let's see where I messed up. I messed up right here. Here, wow, don't really know what I did there, that's what it's supposed to be. Now when we view this, we see posted on the particular date in the specific category. When we try to add one to say PHP, PHP tutorial, woo, we see it also gets added to PHP. Last thing we need to do is display the contents. For that we use a function called nl2br which simply converts new lines, so returns, to valid HTML line breaks which are those things. And of course we use post contents. And with that done, we have a very ugly looking but fully functional blog. However, let's expand on it a bit. What if we wanted to view this specific post, the third one? Well, that is what the ID parameter is for. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this out and here we say query dot equals which essentially means add to the string this order by posts dot id descending and here we say if is set id. So if the id parameter was passed then we add something more to the query. Of course we need to cast it to an integer and then we say query dot equals where posts dot id equals id. Of course we need to change that here. So what we can do is we're going to say posts equals get if is set sorry 
get id then it's equal to get posts get id otherwise it's simply equal to get posts so if we specify a specific post then we display that one otherwise we display all of them so here we are on id equals 3 and there we just get the third post and here the fourth one the first one so this works perfectly fine now if we do something like id equals 7 which doesn't exist we get nothing but I'm sure you will be able to figure out a way around this yourself all right now another way to do this which was pointed out to me is not necessarily better but you might like this the ternary operator can be used ternary operator is this by the way the question mark and the colon and it can be used in functions so we could also do this posts equals get posts is set get id so if it is set it's equal to get id otherwise null this works exactly the same as this so if I comment this out you see that it works perfectly fine it really does not matter at all which version you use this one is slightly shorter but I suppose it's easier to mess up as well I'm just going to let you decide for yourself I'm gonna go with brevity a bit so I'll use this one and there really is not much more to it so what I am going to do now is I'm going to add some links for each post I'm going to use a menu element which is an HTML5 element but feel free to just use a div in it we have an unordered list which links to Um, delete post.php id equals post post id delete this post close it off and we do the same thing for edit post.php post id and edit this post so now for every post we get a link to delete it and to edit it and of course we have not yet created these two files we're going to look at deleting it in the next part and probably also start the edit post um, file just to show you the index here we have it for every single post oh by the way I just said I would start editing posts in the next part as well that's not going to happen what we're going to do instead is um, add the functionality for the category ID so that we can display categories with the posts they have so all of that in the next part stay tuned